In this video, I'm going to be comparing the two Milwaukee impact drivers, so stay tuned. I'll be doing the comparison from two Milwaukee combo kits. This combo kit is currently on sale for $169. It includes a M18 compact half inch drill driver, a M18 quarter inch hex impact driver, two 1.5 amp batteries, an M18 and an M12 charger, and a contractor bag. But for this comparison video, I'll be focusing on the brushed impact driver. The other combo kit is currently on sale for $99. It includes a M18 compact brushless quarter inch hex impact driver, an M18 and an M12 charger, one 2.0 amp battery and a contractor bag. For all the testing in this video, I'll be using the 1.5 amp batteries on both impact drivers. This is what the two impact drivers look like in a side by side comparison. They both feel similar in the hand, the grips feel almost the same, but one thing to note, the brushless is slightly shorter. Another thing to note, the combo kit with the brush impact driver and the drill only comes with one belt hook. So you would have to decide which tool you would want to install the hook on. Here's a comparison of the sound of the motors. I noticed that the brush impact had a slightly kick whenever I released the trigger. It was not as smooth as the brushless. The brushless impact is rated for 16 inch pounds of torque, which is approximately 133 foot pounds of torque. The brush impact is rated for 1500 inch pounds of torque, which is approximately 125 foot pounds of torque. The first test that I'm going to be doing is to drive some deck screws into a piece of 2x4. I've had the brushless impact driver for a while and I use it on a few projects. It does an amazing job when it comes to driving screws into wood. So this is somewhat of a test to see if the brush impact driver is just as good. I insert and remove the screws a couple times and both drills did well. The brushless driver is a bit faster and is barely noticeable, so that's not even a complaint. After the screw test, both drills still had full batteries. Now I'm going to be doing the remaining tests with the lug bolt that's on this car. So the idea is to tighten down the lug bolt at a certain torque and check to see if the impact drivers are able to remove the bolt. So this bolt is torqued down to 98 foot-pounds of torque. This is the brush impact driver with a fully charged battery and I'm going to see if it will be able to remove it. And it was able to remove 98 foot-pounds of torque with little to no struggle. It's torqued down to 98 foot-pounds of torque and now I'm going to check to see if the brushless is going to be able to remove it. As you can see with a fully charged battery, the brushless was able to remove it with no struggle.
All right, so this one is torqued down to 110 foot pounds of torque. And now I'm gonna test to see if the brush impact driver will be able to remove it. As you can see, with a fully charged battery, 110 foot pounds of torque, the brush impact driver was able to remove the bolt with little to no struggle. All right, so this one is a little bit high, but I'm still gonna continue with the test anyway. It's torqued down to 113 foot pounds of torque. And this is a brushless with a fully charged battery. And it was able to remove 113 foot pounds of torque with little to no struggle. All right, so now I'm gonna increase the torque a little bit. At this time, it's torqued down to 131 foot pounds of torque. All right, so I'm gonna test to see if the brush impact driver will be able to remove it. And technically it's not supposed to be able to remove it because it's only rated at 125 foot pounds of torque, but I'm just gonna go ahead with the test anyway. So as you can see, at 131 foot pounds of torque, it was not able to remove it. So I'm just gonna switch out and see if the brushless impact will be able to remove it. As you can see, at 131 foot-pounds of torque, the brushless impact driver was able to remove it with little or no struggle. So I'm gonna try to see if I could torque it with a little less torque, something closer to 125, and see if it's able to remove it. All right, so this is 121 foot-pounds of torque with a fully charged battery. I'm gonna test to see if the brush impact driver will be able to remove it. All right, so as you can see, it was definitely struggling to remove 121 foot pounds of torque, but it removed it anyways. So I torqued it down again at 121 foot pounds of torque and now I'm going to try to remove it with a brushless impact driver. As you can see at 121 foot pounds of torque the brushless impact driver it removed it with no problems. And I did all these tests on a single charge and at the end of all of these tests, the two impact drivers still had full batteries. All right, that's it for this one. If you like this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing and thanks for watching.